Good day everyone, and welcome to Griffinix Tabletop Miniatures. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at my kitbashed Carl for my Leagues of Votan. This is my Leagues of Votan Carl that I was fortunate enough to pick up uh, a little while back there in a Leagues of Votan army set. Now, clearly, he has been built uh, with a few other bits and pieces, not from uh, that set, but from the uh, from the range of miniatures uh, from uh, Age of Sigmar's Fire Slayers. For instance, uh, in, his, in his hand there, you can see that the, uh, the Power Axe, or Plasma Axe, or um, the other option, I believe, is a small uh, sword, uh, has been replaced with this axe, which is the one from the... Uh, Berserker, I believe. Fire Slayer's Berserker. I think that's what he's called. It's going to count as the uh, Plasma Axe, obvious, for obvious reasons. But um, as you can see, clearly, that's, uh, that's been put on there. The arm's been repositioned somewhat. Part of the arm did have to be cut out a little bit just to reposition it, just ever so slightly. Uh, on his head, you can see he's got this rather large double mohawk going on with the, uh, it's got a dragon, dual headed dragon thing motif on it. And that was um, that was from the very same kit, I believe. I had to cut that out from the uh, the helm for it, and, uh, then attach it to this. It had to be trimmed back a bit here because um, clearly the the mohawk would have gone down much further, but it needed to be able to fit onto this particular model, and I already liked uh, the uh, head, this armoured head that came with the model. So I wanted to use that and find another way to sort of improve upon it or make it look a little bit more like the themes that I'm looking at for this army, or looking at implementing for this army anyway. And if you've already noticed on the back there, the uh, this bit up here, I thought, uh, given the uh, crest that the um, the other option instead of the Carl, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the only character model they have for uh, the Leagues of Votan at this point. Uh, it had this uh, dual, uh, this thing that came across both sides and had, a, I think, a head of a bear on both ends with this little hair thing right, dangling at each end and I thought well I've got this spare part here from the Caradron Overlords from again I forget what the unit's called but it's their armoured sort of uh, elite troop unit of all the heavier weapons and it's from their sort of I guess like banner bearer looking dude and I thought that, you know, that kind of fits their aesthetic. So I put that on and just cut the the tips, like you see on the top here and up here, just smooth that off and um, attach the tassels. I guess that's what you'd call them. 
the to it and just attach uh, the whole thing really just a little bit lower down um, instead of further up the top. And obviously I've, I've cut, you know, the, the bit off here, because this one's the one that had the bit going up and over the head. So I use that and I just cut that bit off and attached this part on on the back. Overall, it was really simple to do. And um, like with the Iron Here Champion that I sh showed off in a recent video, it's not quite completely painted. I've got a few bits of highlighting to do, and I want to do some more work on the uh, on the plasma axe to make that pop a bit more, for instance, and. Uh, some things on the base, some of those blue tufts you can see in the background over here. Similarly, I just wanted to show you, give you some idea of you know what you could do. And oh, here's a bit I haven't even painted in this little strap on the back of the cape. I will do that. Uh, again, like I said, I just wanted to show you, and obviously the the bottom part of this axe, uh, I've taken that off the the other axe <laughs> and just uh, attached it to the bottom of this one. So yeah, just a just a quick example yet again of what I'm doing with my uh, leagues of Votan, my custom league. I still don't quite have a name for them yet. I've got a few things in mind, but um, it just doesn't sound right at this point. So um, if anyone has any suggestions, please put them in the comments down below. Any idea names you might have for sort of semi-Australian coloured league with uh, big mohawks. <laughs> On their commanders, at least. Yeah. I'm curious. Have any of you uh, got a Carl in your force? Or perhaps you've gone with the, uh, the named character model? For that particular league? Again, the name eludes me, but... Um, it's probably for good reason, because I'm not collecting them. <laughs> I'm collecting my own league. Yeah, I'm just curious what you guys think of my progress, my hobby progress on this. And uh, if you've thought of doing anything similar. Or if perhaps you'd like to do something similar in the future. Yeah. Be nice to know. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to talk about it in the comments. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe and to like the video and to hit that notification bell so that you can stay informed and up to date on all the future releases on this channel. Yeah. As you can see, I really love kit bashing. may have mentioned it before, but it's my favourite part of the hobby. And I'm very much the kind of person that likes to play the rule of cool. I think that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for your time. I have been Matt the Hat. And I'll catch you all in the next one.